is called Outdoor Tone 10. So if you can find that, I'm gonna mute everybody and we are going to, I don't even see where I can mute all. All right, so we're gonna go starting, yes. In three, I go three, two, one, start. So here we go. Three, two, one, start. All right, so we're on the back. Block between the legs. And just come into the breath here even though the music's on and it's fun, a little Stevie Wonder. Take your shoulders down away from you. Just hug the block, feel the core turn on. Take a nice inhale, sigh out, exhale. Come up to just a hover, re-squeeze the block, re-engage your core. Take an inhale, sigh it out. Come a little higher, hug that block, dig down through the heels. Take that breath in, sigh it out. And we'll just pulse here, just starting slowly. So nothing too aggressive. Be, pay attention to the back and the core, and of course the shoulders and the face. So just hug that brick gently, and wake up your glutes a little bit. Just eight more from here, seven. Take the chin away from the chest, press the back of the head to the mat, feel the neck soften. Last set of eight, five, six, seven. Hold it up, take the shoulders one at a time underneath you, get a nice belly stretch, a nice core stretch. Feel your glutes wake up a little more. Separate the hands, lower the bum down, bring the shins in a shelf, hug the block, and just squeeze the inner thighs here. So as we squeeze towards the midline, you're gonna feel your low belly turn on. The head is down, the hands are down. You have four more, squeeze, squeeze. Now hold the squeeze, lift the arms, and down. So you're reaching like you're sliding your hands across the surface of your mat. The head is coming up and down, four more. Three, navel to spine, face is soft. Keep the head and heart down, just squeeze the block. Four, three, slide those hands along the hover. Just skim the surface of the floor or the mat. The block is held, knees over hips. Four more here. Four, three, two. Last time, just squeeze the block. Eight to go, seven, four, three. One more time, slide the hands. Just hover them over the mat. Lift the head, lift the heart, don't let it touch. Up and down, four more. Four, three, two. Now keep it up here, turn the palms towards each other, legs out in a diagonal, and then just pulse, pulse, pulse. You need one hand behind your head, take it. Hug that block, navel to spine. Natural curve of your low back, eight to go here. Maybe lower the legs, explore that, or lift them higher if you need to. Feet are coming down, full range for glutes now. So press up, tap down, press up, tap down. Dig down through the heels, lighten through those toes. Up and tap, up and tap. We're gonna lift the heels and lower, keep them down. Lift the heels and keep them down. So that little pattern, stretch the soles of the feet. Continue, same glutes, full range, heels down. One more time, heels up, heels down, heels up, heels down. Now keep the heels up and just squeeze the block. Squeeze, squeeze. Notice if your shoulders are starting to creep up by your ears. Four more here, four, three. So we're squeezing in, two. And now we're gonna keep everything here and pulse it up. Very tiny little pulses. We're in a pretty high bridge. Now we're gonna hover this. Tuck the tail and squeeze, 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 squeeze. So we're in this little scoop. You can feel your core, eight more here. Hovering over the mat. Four more, five, six, seven. Hold here, close the eyes, take an inhale. 
Exhale, keep this hover, keep this scoop. Heels are gonna move down and up. So keep engaging to the midline, whatever you're squeezing. Four more, maybe it's someone's face if you had a bad day. Two more. All right, come up to that high and go down low, high and low on the tippy toes. Belly is firm, smile on the face is helpful. Two to go. Now we have those little tiny pulses, just barely, barely move in your highest position, but it should not feel bad on your back at all. Eight more, seven, six, five. This is all loose here too. Now come to that hover, lower the heels in scoop and press. So the heels are down now. We're in this little tiny scoop. You're gonna feel just below the butt cheeks, right at the top of those hamstrings. Six, five. Four, three, two, one. Lower down, shins in a shelf, hands behind the head. Traditional crunches. High as you want to go. Touch down or hover down. Make that big C curve, belly to spine. We'll take this into obliques, just face right and down. And again, right and down. Draw the elbow towards the outer thigh, the shoulder towards the outer thigh. Four. Three, if you need to put your feet down, of course, put your feet down. Over to the other side. So especially when you're with your back right here, if this is your bad side, go slow, don't pull as you twist. Four more. Three, two, we'll add a combo starting in the center. We'll lift, lift, two to the right. Two to the center, two to the right. So little pulses, here we go, center, faces soft to the right, center, to the left, to the center. Two more rounds. Lift those shoulders off the mat. One more round, center, to the right, center, to the left. Okay, we're gonna take ourselves to the side of the mat. We're gonna take one of our plates, you're gonna have your block on your left foot or your right foot, whichever one is nearer to the midline, so that your foot can be on a plate and the plate is able to slide along the surface of your floor. So the plates won't slide on the mat. So you're gonna to scooch to one side of your mat. You're gonna dig down through this left heel. You're gonna lift up here on the tippy toe of your right foot. So just pulse here using both glutes. Feel free to adjust the block or your body if the block doesn't slide. So the heel is underneath the knee on this one leg with the block. You're digging down through the heel. You got four. Now you're on the tippy toe of this right foot. Hold this high and slide. Out and in. Slide. Feel your core, feel your glutes. You got four more. Three, two. Now slide it in, put down the heel. The toes are off the floor. Same thing, slide. Slide, stay firm with your hips. Use this heel on the block. You are sliding. Four more slides. Face and shoulders are soft. Three, two. Now stay on the heel, pulse the glutes. So we're on both heels. The toes are down of your one foot, but you're in this wheelie, this popped wheelie on the right foot or other foot. Eight to go, seven, six, five, Four, three, on the tippy toes, slide the plate out and in, out, in, out. Come down low to a hover now, then keep sliding. Dig down through this block heel. Switch to the heel and slide. You're in this hover. Use the hamstring and the glute. Four, four to go, four. Three, two, keep your foot on the block, cross the ankle, crawl the shoulders under you, get this nice hip stretch here, and start to pulse from here. Eight, seven, six, let the knee that's crossed lower down, but even out the hips for sure. Knit those ribs in, seven, six, five. 
You can keep the ankle crossed, or for 16, we press the foot to the sky. Four more, three, two, one. Last set of eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Keep the heel on the block, recross, lower the bum. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Let that knee travel down towards the bottom of your mat so as we're in the core, you're getting a little hip stretch here. Two more. Keep it up and pulse here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, you're either gonna slide to your other side. I'm gonna move to my other side because I don't have room over here to slide my plate. So move everything out of the way. Your opposite foot now is on the brick and your opposite foot is on the plate. So set this up so your heel, again, you're pressing that block. You're on the tippy toes of the opposite leg. And we're just gonna lift and pulse here. So again, reset. Shoulders are down, the heels under the knee. Seven, six, five, four. You're on this tippy toe, now hold the hips high and slide. Slide. So you're going to feel the hamstring and the glute. Obviously, you're an isometric traction on the block side. Soft face. Now come to the flat heel and pulse here. So the heel's down, the toes are up. Belly is firm. Now slide it. In and out. On that heel. Four to go. Four. Hips are even three, two, come back to the tippy toe and pulse. Here we go. Eight. You might have done it different on the first side, but we got it. It's all good. Hold it up, slide it out on those toes. Second side is always harder. <laughs> Four to go. Four, three, two. You're on the heel, slide it out and in. Then we change. Hover, that's what we did, hover, sorry. So hover down. Four more here. Four, three, two, and one. Now cross the ankle here and pulse. Knee towards the ground, feel the hip flexor stretch. You can keep the ankle crossed, or with that heel under the knee, you're gonna lift the leg to the sky. We have 16. Make sure the knee on the block is also tracking out slightly towards the baby toe side. We got four, three, two, one. Cross the ankle, lower the bum, hands behind the head. Just crunch and pulse, and pulse. You got eight, seven, Six, five, let that knee move down. Feel the hips open. Take the oblique. Six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, come on up, stay on the bum. Move the block out of the way. Grab both plates. We're gonna stay in the bum. We're gonna stay in the core. So you can be on your hands and your heels are on your plates. You're gonna come down to forearms. We're gonna lift the bum, one leg at a time, off the beat or on the beat. I'm gonna to come to my hands so I can see. So, you're not bouncing the hips, your collarbones are wide. You have four more each side, two more. Now try to slide them out and in, out and in. Your bum's gonna hover over your mat, your heart is high, your throat is soft. In, out, in, out, in. Hold it out now. Lift the hips lower. Lift the hips lower. So you're in this extension. Your heart is high, collarbones are wide, belly's firm. Lift hips lower. We're not touching the bum, you're hovering. Now come all the way down. Come to your forearms. So if you're already there, bonus round for you. Lift the bum, slide right, slide left, slide right, slide left. So I'm right now making fists with my hands, just flattening out my hands behind me. Doesn't feel great on my wrists. 
for whatever reason. Two more. All right, we're going to slide out, in, out, together. Out, in, out, together. Two more. Out, together. Out, in, out, together. One more. Last one. Now keep those legs extended. Lift the bum, lift the bum, lift, lift. Chin off the throat. Four to go. Four, three, two, and one. We're not quite done. So I'm going to face away from you because I don't have room over here. You're going to put your feet on your plates. You're going to come into an upright plank position or a forearm plank position. Start in a pike. So your hips are super high. We're going to slide slow, pike in. So do not let your back dip. Do not let your head dip. So it's sliding out, sliding in. So it's slow, pull it in. Out, pull it in. You got four, pull. Three, pull. Four, shoulders over wrists or forearms are under shoulders. Now keep it up. Okay, we'll right, then left. So we're in a pipe to start, then we stretch out. So this front knee is super bent. You have four, slide, two, one. Now come to play, now bring the knees in, so it's different. You're staying in plank, you're sliding the plates. Back and forth, back and forth. Four, three, two, one. Come on down to those knees, keep those feet on the plate, shake out your hands. Not quite done. I'm gonna face away again, we're gonna come to the forearms, we're gonna slide legs out and in. All right. So measure those fingertips, feet out, one at a time to start. Left and right, you're doming your back, out and in. Total four. Now you can always stay singles, but we're gonna go doubles. Out and in. Abductors, adductors, outer, inner. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Eight to go. Seven, six, tushy down with your shoulders. Four, three, two, one. Come back to plank. Pike for two, out for two. Pike for two, out for two. Pike for two. Out for two, pike for two, hold and slide. Right, left, right, left. Eight, seven, six, five. Finish strong. Two, one. Stand off your plates. Grab a sip. Grab a towel. Oh my God. <laughs> Woo! All right, band around your thighs. Weights you need for biceps. Simple Simon. If you're with me, you guys are rock stars. Even if you're not with me, you know you're rock stars. Okay, so band around your thighs. Weights, just come into a little bent knee, right? So we're here, not here, and just so up and down, traditional biceps. Core's engaged, shoulders down, collarbones wide. Four to go, four, three, two, one. All right, flip the heels up, walk the heels together, bicep curl with the knees going out. So it's slow, knees are out, same pace with arms, 
same pace of legs. Four, keep the knees out, three, two, one, take that squat, just knees are slightly bent here, hammer style. So that's the pattern. We have eight with our heels down, knees tracking forward, four, three, two, flip up into the heels, step the feet together, take it down, and up. Keep those knees out, band on the thighs, slow and control, slide up, slide down, slide up, slide down, four, I added some extra, three, two, one, knees, shoulders, and thighs. So again, your upper body sliding down the wall behind you, knees are bent, rib cage is knitting. Three, two, flip up to the heels, take the heels together, down, up and down. So it's slow, legs and arms, four to go. Three, two, now keep the knees out, we're gonna pulse, halfway up, loose grip on the weights, palms are open. Now we're gonna pulse the knees halfway down with arms, half, half, four, three, hammer style, same thing, halfway down. Keep pulsing those knees out, four, three, lower the arms, pulse it up, 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 stay low here, take the weights out, pulse to the side and up. Get into those legs. Shoulders and halfway down, this is it. Half, 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 four, three, narrow squat, and up. Squeeze as you lift. So the legs are about, I don't know, hips distance. You got four, weights are just hanging for now. Three, two, you're gonna pick up your left heel and you're gonna pulse those biceps and right into the booty cheeks. Keep these arms, switch the heels, get low. Belly's firm. Narrow squats, heels down, hang those arms. Down and up. Four to go. Four, three, two. Lift your left heel, pulse out to the side. Elbows are pinned to your side. Same arms, switch heels, get low. Feel that butt cheek. Five, six, narrow squat. We're gonna change our arms down, up. Hammer curl. Make the arms smooth. Four to go. Down, squeeze up. Two more. Heel lifted, just hold your arms here. Five, hold the arms, steady switch heels. Seven, six, five, four, keep these arms, lift the heels, heels together. Now we have pecs in and out, hold the knees. Just hold the legs. Now pulse the legs. Eight, seven, six, don't lean forward, five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna go out wide, narrow, other way. Out wide, lift, narrow. Out wide, big squat, lift, center. Out, lift, center. Here we go, out, lift, center. Arms out, lift, center. So arms out, curl it in, center. Arms out, lift it up, curl. Four, feel that abductor. Big squat, narrow squat. Big squat, narrow squat. Probably just got it. Keep it going for another set. Big squat, curl, narrow. Big squat, curl. 
Keep this going. Big. Lift and squeeze. Up and squeeze. Out. Four to go. Whew. Three. Two to go. Last one. Sumo squat. Toes out, heels in, down, elbows up. Touch, up, touch. Booties back. Squeeze on the way up. How does your back feel? How does your shoulder feel? Do one at a time, or both together, or none at all. Here we go, eight, and we're done. Seven, six, five, four. Dig down to those heels. Two, now hold the elbows. Get down low, booty back, toes are light. Weights down, stand up and row. Bend knees go down, stand up and row. Flat back, knees bent. Straight legs, row up. Flat back, knees bent. Straight up, row. To the beat. Up, down, up. Or you're halfway like we started, half time. Bend your knees. Three, two, eight to go. Fast or slow. Bend your knees down. Squeeze them up. Four more, four, three, two, one. Kick it back with your triceps lifting in your palms. The legs are kind of wide, I'm just kicking back. So the leg going back might bother your low back if your belly's not pulling in. So your legs are out on this diagonal. Three, two, one. Now give me those toes and squeeze, squeeze. Palms are facing each other. Lift the wrists higher, but not your shoulders. Keep those legs wide, kick them back, palms up. You got eight, seven, six. So again, they're out on a diagonal, four to go. Four, three, two, Toes, squeeze your palms, squeeze those triceps. Last set, lift the legs, lift the arms higher. Feel those triceps. Toes tap, and we squeeze in, 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 in. You got four, three, two, one. Hold your squat. Get low. Back to rows, down, lift, slow down, squeeze lift, slow down, squeeze lift, slow down, now to the beat. We have eight, seven, six, row, five, row, four, three, changing the legs, changing the arms, Tricep kickbacks narrow, right behind you now. Right behind you now. Out and in arms, legs straighter back. You got four, three. We're staying with those triceps. Legs are gonna kick out to the side. Underneath we go, like the scarecrow. Oh, that's rhymes. <laughs> four more, four. We're done with the rows. We're going back to legs, back in that narrow form. Triceps, in and out. So again, we're kicking back. Four to go. Four, three, feel those glutes, and those triceps. From the top, we go out, under. So the pinkies lead, thumbs, pinkies, thumbs. Four, three, Two, last set. Tricep kickbacks. Lift your leg higher. Bend your standing knee. Four to go. Four, three, two, one. 
two, legs out, or you're using your toes, I don't care, triceps. You wanna press away, four, more, we're done. Four, three, two, and one. All right, tap it out, take a breath. Exhale, tap it out. Inhale, take a breath. All right, bend your knees, put your weights down. Keep that band. We are gonna lift out of the mud from chair pose. Like you're sitting down towards a chair. This is quads and core. Lift, gaze forward, lift. You're stuck in mud. Lift, lift, lift. Get lower without rounding your back. So we're not here. We're high with the chest, low with the butt. Keep going. Low. Four more here. Four, three, two, one. Narrow squat. We're gonna start in this position, in this chair position. We're gonna tap, tap. So tap, tap. Get low, stay low. Your chest is high. Your knees are bent. Four, three, two, you're now stuck in mud. You lift, you lift. Hands here, squeeze those fingertips towards each other. Turn on your core. Get lower. Now instead of touching the ground, we take the legs out, out. But the knees are bent, so it looks a little ridiculous. It doesn't feel so ridiculous. Four, three, two, one, lift those knees, higher, higher, lower with your butt, legs, legs, core, four more, three, you're gonna tap, out and in, knees are bent, now lift the legs, side, now tap the toes, knees stay bent, get lower, now lift them, Two more rounds and we're done. Get low, tap out. Knees stay bent. Lift. Shoulders soften. Last set. Lift those side legs. Get low, get low. Eight to go, we're done. Hands. Feel those glutes. Four, three, don't lose it. Two. And one, all right, no band, Whew. no weights, no band, gotta squat, it feels good, okay, your heart is high, fingertips behind your head, eight to go, just bounce it out, take deep breaths in, side out, and again, deep breaths, side out. Come to your lowest point, oblique to the left. Squeeze, squeeze. Okay, we're not rounding the upper back. We're in cobra, not cat. You got four, three, two. Switch sides for eight. Try to touch the elbow to the thigh. And again, your collarbones are wide, belly's firm. Four, three, Two, gotta squat, pulse it out. Give your hands a break if you need it. Combo, hold the legs. Four to this side. Now we're gonna lift the elbow to the knee. Same side. Slow, slow. Now crunch it. Four, three, Keep that back strong, belly firm, slow, elbow to thigh. Squat, squat, squat. Now side to side, get high. Elbows, knees, elbows, knees, to the beat. 
eight to go, eight, seven, crunch it, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold your goddess, deep breath in, sigh it out, straighten out in, bend it out, knees track over the ankles, in, out, we're still with those obliques, you're going to keep the legs pretty straight and just reach, reach the upper body. Squeeze your glutes together. Squeeze your inner thighs together. You're reaching and you're crunching opposite oblique. Lift. Four. Three. Two. Elbows. Knees. Crunch. Crunch. This will change. We're going to cross opposite. Keep yourself high. Don't round and crunch. Try to bring the knee as high as you can without rounding your back. You got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Okay, narrow squat position. Reach side, side, side. So feel the sideways crunch. You're in the narrow squat. You got eight, seven, six, five, four. Hands on your thighs. Flat back. Round it up. Flat back. Round it up. Flat back. Stay down. Find your weights. Back to that narrow squat. Side. Side. Now, if this is too fast, this bothers your back. Two things. Squeeze your glutes like crazy. Give a little slight talk to your tailbone. That might help you feel better in your side body. Otherwise, slight extension of tailbone out. So it's not ears, Reva. It's body, 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 body. Now this is good for you. Your back is happy. You want more elbows, elbows. But you have those weights. Be super careful or go slower. Put them on the shoulders. Elbows, elbows. Four, three, two, punch. Whew. Keep your lower body still. You're reaching the side body. Up. Four, three, two, one. All right, meet me in a lunge position. Right foot forward, left leg back. We're going to dip and dip. Here we go. Eight to go. You're keeping your front knee bent. Your weights are hanging. Your shoulders, hips one plane. Four. Three. Two. Weights coming up. We pulse it down. You got eight here. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Come it down. You're twisting and twisting. Twist, twist, four to go, four, three, two, stay in the twist, take the arms out, bring them in, reach them up, take them down, twist, out, in, reach, out, in, reach, out, in, reach, twist, out, stay reaching, slide down. Eight here, seven, six, five. You're squeezing your butt cheeks on both legs. Start to tuck your left toes under. Hang the weights, pulse from the ground up. Seven, six, five, four, three. Down and up, stay in that right leg. Down, up, down. Up, down, up, four to go. We're done here. Four, three, two, and one. Come through and change. Left foot forward, right knee under that hip. We're down, we're down. So you keep the right knee bent. You're sliding down that imaginary wall. Four, three, two, down and hover, hold the weights. Eight, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, come on down, twist, twist, left knee stays open to the left, you can make this twist slow, you never have to match my pace, two to go, twist, stay side, arms out, together, unwind, now twist, out, press, hips stay hugging, up, four to go, three, two, one, weights hang, tuck it out, pulse, from the ground up, seven, six, five, four, three, two, now make it down, bigger, slow, up, don't lose the, don't let that front foot torque, four to go, we're done, four, three, two, step it forward, sip and towel, band around your thighs, on the side body, what time is it, oh my, <laughs> all right, band around the thighs, have your plates nearby, <laughs> yeah, I said that, all right, okay, clear your space, so that you've got your plates nearby, but you don't have anything in the way of your feet, zero in the way of your feet, don't be scared, don't leave, on the forearm or flat down, just clam shells for eight. Just reconnect with your breath. Clam it out. I feel so close to you right now. Such a good song. <laughs> Shoulders are soft. Three, two, keep it up in pulse. Simple, we know this. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Now we're gonna go knee, toe. Knee, toe. You're staying lifted even if you're on your arm you got four knees and toes three knees and toes two and one extend the leg start to circle forward circle back the leg is extended to the side okay come on down bring the leg forward and bring it up and down so it's as close to a 90 degree angle as you can get it, perpendicular to your source, and circle. That was, the sentence was perpendicular to your torso. And circle back. There's no stopping us right now. All right, take your plates. Come to the ground where you're not on your mat. Your feet are gonna go to these plates. You're gonna stay on your forearm. You're gonna split and split. So, you straighten, bend, straighten, bend. Arm up. Your top leg is straight, your bottom knee is bent. You're sliding in and out. Slide, top leg is straight, bottom knee is bent. Four, three, two, and one. That was the surprise. All right, if your band rolled, make it behave. So that was it, that, that was like the scariest thing, right? So what we were doing is the top leg was sliding straight, the bottom knee was bending, it was like straightening and then bending through. So you're gonna get that on the second side, or you're leaving me, or cussing me out and I can't hear you, so that's a good thing. <laughs> All right, clear off your space. This is a big finale. Okay, reconnect with your breath. We're not dumping, we're just clamshell. Open, open. So it's nice when we have something familiar in which to breathe. Keep this up in pulse. Eight, seven. Remember your top hip does not open. You guys have been with me a thousand years. Uh, you should know this. Now we're gonna take this, tapping. This might be new to Kirsten. Knee, toes, knee, toes. It's nice to have you back in our afternoon class. All right, extend the leg, start to lift it up. You have four, 
Top hand helps, circle forward. Okay, this bothers your back, just come on down. Reverse it. Eight, seven, big circles. Four, three, two. Now take that leg as far to perpendicular as you can and lift and lift. Don't lean back. Hips are stacked. Belly's firm. Circle forward. Four, three, circle back. Four more. Three, two, and one. All right, come off your space. Your feet are on these plates. Your top leg will slide straight back and forth. Your bottom knee will bend as it comes through and straighten as it goes. So start with your hand down, slide, slide, or hand up. Eight, and we're done. So you're in this oblique, and you're using your legs. Four, three, two, one. On your back, take the band off. Traditional yogi bicycles. If you want to use the band around your feet, because you're a superstar, you go for it. So start with yogi bikes, we'll switch it up, and then we'll be done. So shins in a shelf, start in that crunch, and just go side to side. Try not to be like a weevil, so we're not wobbling side to side. Extend those legs. If this bothers your back with your legs hovering, you can have your legs higher. Eight to go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold the knees in, palms outside the right thigh, just pulse into the right side. If you want to hover, hover. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and change. Pulse. Knees stay hovered on um, together or extend the leg. Eight more. Four, three, yogi bikes. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Feet up. Right leg down, left leg down, head and heart are down, pressing with the hands. Now lift the hands and press, 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 press. Your head is still down. Now lift your upper body, same legs, press, press. Just switch your legs slow, pulse your hands fast, eight to go. Lift those heart higher, shoulder blades higher. Four to go. Three, two, and one. Hug it in. Woo. All right. Come into a nice, easy bridge pose. Heels under knees, palms open. Walk your shoulders a little closer here so you can already feel the belly stretch and float those hips. Breathe in and out. Starting from the back door of the heart, articulate one vertebra down at a time. Once you touch the tailbone, lift the lumbar, then reverse it. Tuck round, curl up one vertebra at a time. Hold it here, lift your arms up. Take your hands behind the head. Stretch. Arms up, hands down, up. Back, up, down. Dig down through those heels. Just stretching the shoulders out dynamically. Hold the arms overhead. Start from the heart, roll down. Lift that lumbar curve up when your tailbone touches. Return to lift all the way up. Hands up, palms together. Just reach the shoulders away from the mat so the back door of the heart is only on the mat. So the blades themselves, the backs of the shoulders are off the mat if you can curl them. So it's like a cat pose. You should feel your core and your shoulders are rounded. Now take those arms like a T. 
Articulate one vertebrae down at a time. Let your knees fall to the right. If you're crossing your ankle, move your left leg to the left so the shoulder hip and knee are in one plane. Inhale and exhale. I'm going to change my song. You stay in twist. If you're with me on my playlist, we're going to go to two for what it's worth. And just enjoy this stretch. We'll come up to one oblique crunch section here. So take those hands over your head, you're in a twist. So even if you're in a knee pile, you're still gonna get the benefit here. We're gonna be crunching the left side. Just reach the palms we're holding. And again, I want you to feel the curling of the shoulder blades away from the mat as you hug the navel in. Tuck your chin in slightly. Lower down, take those hands out to the side, feet as wide as the mat, inhale, and then stay in the twist, exhale. All right. So enjoy this, either you're in a knee pile, or the shoulder hip and knee are in one plane. Perhaps spin your gaze over your opposite shoulder. Okay, start to bring the hands up, and then as you reach those fingertips towards your right hip, I want you to curl the shoulder blades like you're reaching to hug a basketball around your upper arms and your pecs. So feel that hollowed navel. Lower down. And go ahead and come to Supta Baddha Konasana. The soles of the feet together, the knees are out. Take the heels of your hands and scoop out any extra muck that is stuck in your hip joint. Maybe lengthen one side at a time as you smooth the thigh skin towards the knee. And then again, last time for core, keeping the legs here, we'll bring the arms up overhead and slowly, kind of slowly shoot the bow and arrow fingers towards your feet. And you are welcome to stay here. If you want a little extra something, float the feet. Not needed, just an idea. We're going to get into our hips. You want to stay on your back? Stay on your back. I'm going to go go Mukasana. You can go pigeon. You can come to a wall for seated double pigeon. Just let your hips release. Separate your teeth. And puff your chest up to the sky a little bit. Feel the core engage. So hollow the navel down towards your spine. So don't lose the core's ability to breathe big and also empty out. Release tension from your hips, soften the shoulders. Stay here three more breaths. Maybe split the feet apart a little more or come to a different shape where you're getting a little extra nook and cranny of a stretch and then we'll just switch so if you're in pigeon you'll switch if you're in something else you'll switch take your time again you're not gonna get there the first time you come to any pose your breath needs to go exploring Let the calm breath take over from any chaos in your mind or tension in your body. Even happy baby, you can grab the shins or the sides of the toes and just gently rock. All right, so my class was outside yesterday, talked all about when we teach outside, it really does feel just like you're at camp, right? There's a path some of us are taking to get to our yoga spots outside, or the gravel and the sound of the trees. And if you're lucky enough to go to camp or just remember what it was like to be a kid without any bills to pay, any worries on your mind, come to that essence here, that happy camper. Well, if there's any other shape you want to make, so that you really do maintain the idea of being a happy camper. 
just take a minute to get into maybe some extra stretches your body might be requesting. And then we'll meet in Shavasana. And just even out whatever it is you are doing. And then allow for the taking over of dessert, right? And again, this idea of being unburdened by adult life. Notice as you lay here, if you're finding it difficult and your agenda is taking over and your to-do list is taking over, let it go. Listening to the song here, it simply says, please let me feel inner peace from the center of me. Please let me feel inner peace from the center of me, at the center of me. Heart is open, bring your left hand to your heart. Right hand on top. Just be aware of love that you feel for yourself here at the center of your chest. In me is a knowing of love. Put your arms overhead. Let your breath return to your body. Stick with that knowing of peace in your center, heart open, full of love. And just come to the side as you hug your knees in along the floor. And pause in fetal posture. An opportunity to leave aside, leave on the ground whatever does not serve you. When you come to your seat, only carry with you what you need and want. Draw your hands to your heart. Thank you for being such strong toners with me now or when you grab this video later. Om Shanti, Om Peace. Namaste. All right, kick butts. <laughs> Thank you for being here, you guys.